Greetings fellow earthlings and viewers across the world wide web. This is Tune215 and on my right hand side I got Hood Stunt 92. What's up everybody? Yeah, he's a local YouTuber and he's my brother. Definitely, definitely. My brother from the same mother. Not a brother from another mother, <laughs> but my brother from the same mother. For sure, for sure. Big fat. So we about to do a little driving tour in 360. We're in the Mount Airy neighborhood. Um, I'm gonna take you guys around for a little bit. I figure, you know, we could have him vibe out with us. For sure, for sure. If this is your first time experiencing 360 VR footage, I'm gonna explain it to the newbie, right? If you have your phone, you can move your phone up, down, left, right. You can look all around you at any given time and look around and see what we're seeing, all right? For sure. If the picture quality looks a little bit grainy, that's because YouTube automatically recommends the footage in 480, but you can adjust it to 720p, 1080, 1440, or up to 4K footage, but you gotta have fast internet. All right, y'all? So right now we're in Mount Airy, man. We in a residential neighborhood. We had a couple homies on my right hand side chilling on the steps. Look like they were smoking. smoking definitely, smoking. definitely hanging out, busting it up. Yeah, yeah, we in a two story residential block. Um, we're at the intersection of, of Sharp Neck and what is that? My bad. Oh, the panoramic roof. I had to open up the panoramic. <laughs> Bird Dan. <laughs> 6600 Bird Dan to my right and we got 6500 Bird Dan to my left. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. It's a do not enter, but we could probably. We'll we, right. Yeah, we could probably finesse it. it. Says Good Street is Good Street. Um, uh, bang. Well, let's make this. Let's make this left right here on Sharp Neck. Yeah. yeah there you sharp go. Man. All right. So we chilling. We are here. This is a three story block. So yeah. these houses are big. Man. They super duper big. And, Absolutely. And they look like two stories, but it looks like there's a third floor built. Yeah. Right? Don't yeah. it? Let yeah. me let me roll out the window some like just, attic or something, right? Yeah, just in case like the viewers of the world wide web wanna look outside. For sure. They wanna like, you know, so the, the, the tinted windows ain't impeding their vision. But yeah, it actually looks That's like they got like a A top, kinda like a A top. We're on Sharp Neck and Emlyn Street. Emlyn. Yeah, we're gonna enter the one hundred block of Sharp Neck. I'm gonna go straight and we'll probably bang a right and then come back up. Cause I wanna travel northbound on Germantown. Right now we're traveling southbound. On my right is westbound. On my left is eastbound. Oh, look at this crib. This crib right here on my left hand side is crispy. It looks fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gentrification right there. It looks fresh. It looks like yeah. that was probably rehab. Yeah, it was. That thing is new. They said that in there just a distribution. But at least they kept it similar with like that rooftop. The, right. the rooftop still looks similar, you know what I mean? Not bad. It's 5:36 p.m., y'all. It's 88 degrees out. The weather's not too bad. No. All right, we're at the intersection of Sharp Neck and Cherokee. Make this right-hand turn on Cherokee. What you, what, what you call these type of roofs? Those, that's a shingle. 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 Shingle rooftop. All these houses got shingle rooftops. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Check it out, and they got like that that apex, like that triangle top that yeah. meets. And if you try to stand on that roof, you'll slide down. Yeah. <laughs> slide down like a slide. Look at the little lawn right here on my left hand side. They got like wood. They got the grass going on. Look at that joint over there. That joint over there look all right. Is that a house or is that an apartment? That joint crazy. That joint kind of big. It looks like a, like, a, like a school for trying to get something. Right? Right. With a book pack. There's a camera right here on the corner. A police camera. Whoa, right here on the corner on my left hand side. For sure. There's a police camera. Well, they're probably protecting the neighborhood. Yeah, some neighborhoods are like that. They'll end up, oh, we got shutters. Oh, y'all know, listen, if if, if y'all in tune, y'all in tune, y'all know how much I like shutters. We got shutters. Those didn't look functional though. There's a difference between functional shutters to non-functional. Yeah. Non-functional, they're just bolted up to the to the, to the the front of the building. Damn, look at that crib. That crib right there looks chilling. Yeah, check that out. That they got big. driveways, they got front lawns. Yeah. The ones on my right aren't as big Bush as the ones on my man, left. Got it all up in this zone. Where? Yeah. All right, we're on Hoarder. Emlyn and Hoarder. Speed limit 25 miles an hour. I know the vibe, safety first. Absolutely, we both buckled up. <laughs> buckled up like two big old kids. Absolutely. I think he bucked up. You bucked up, right? I'm bucking up. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm bucking up. Nah, I was like, yo, that would have been salty if he wasn't bucking up. Nah, bro, shoot. Honestly, we with it. Look at the architecture there. 
the like the arch that's over the doorway, the porch, the little side. I love the driveway, little garage. Probably the backyard is huge. Oh, yeah, it's, it's huge. And this is in Philly. This is in Philly. This is this located from Kensington. This is probably like a good 18 minute, 22 minute drive, depending on traffic. Yeah, 22 minutes. Yeah, you go uh, Germantown. Just take it northbound. Keep going up Germantown, and boom, you come up here. Uh, we're passing Quincy. I just realized I had a vehicle behind me, so I don't want to impede their their uh, little trip that we got going on there. So we're gonna go. I believe this is Germantown. We're gonna hit Germantown. Catering by design on my right hand side. It looks like a catering business. Yeah. They had three uh, vehicles. We are going to Germantown. Ad. Yes, sir. We're gonna let this gentleman right here cross. If you look down on the ground, you'll notice that the street has cobblestone. Yeah, stone all day. And they still got the little uh, train tracks, little trolley tracks going on. We're next to the 23 bus stop. We good on this side. All right, cool. Thank you very much, sir. Greetings. They got some new apartments right here on my left-hand side. Again, some more, was this a real estate business? Yeah. And some apartments up top, a coffee shop. We got them Go Mount Airy signs on my left and on my right. Let's make this right on Springer. Springer. Let's see what Springer is. Is it like. closed down tiny store? Yeah, it's, it's probably not open yet. Not well, open yet. I mean, but then again, it should be open because it's what? Yeah. 540, so. Yeah, it's been nice, though. So, Mount Airy has beautiful homes like you guys just saw, and it also has a traditional row homes. So, you look on my right-hand side, look at it. They got, like, regular hood-style row homes. Check that out, by the way. Yeah, Mount Airy Pediatrics. It's a pediatric it's spot. They got little front chairs. So, this is more like what we grew up with. Like, you know, the homes that were stuck together. I didn't grow up, I don't know about you, you didn't grow up with those type of homes over there, right? Like no. the separator ones? No. You grew up in like this type of yeah, environment? Yeah, yeah, homes, home. homes were stuck together? Yeah, yeah. When they were blasting their music, I'd be late. late because I hear it from my room. <laughs> late hours of the night? Yeah, man, I'd be like, damn, and I'd be banging on the wall like, man, come on, man. <laughs> Real home raised. Look, we got a cemetery right here on my left-hand side. It looks like an ancient old cemetery, though. Know? Cause the, the stones were super duper faded. They, they are shutters here. The shutters are stuck though. That means that they're not functional. We got some another police camera up, up top. So that yeah. tells you a lot. Yeah. Tells you a lot about the neighborhood. They watch the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be careful here. You know, you know. Law enforcement got this scoop on the area. Mm -hmm. Got a little automotive uh, business on my right. Got some row homes, two story. It looks like they put, they possibly have like a third floor yeah. attic. Yeah. Here we got a couple yeah. OGs over here chilling outside, chilling outside, hanging out, hanging out, hanging out. Got some Florida, Florida, Florida tags, yeah. right? Peep, peep that on their floor, Florida tags. Florida in the house, Florida in the city. Look at these houses in front of us. They look like um, no townhouses, right? Townhouses, but they might. One, one if they're PHA, Philadelphia Housing Authority, or are they actually owned homes? Right. Because sometimes, um, you know, like the project houses, they'll make them look pretty just like that. Yeah. But they'll be like PHA housing. PHA stands for Philadelphia Housing Authority. All right, we're on Musgrave Street. Let's make this left-hand turn on uh, Musgrave. Musgrave. Musgrave, and we're turning on Hoarder. Don't be a hoarder. Don't be hoarding things. <laughs> well, you know, when it's time, sometimes, it, you know, it, it be like that. Yeah, sometimes some things are just crazy to go. I used to be like that. I used to collect boxes. I like I would keep all my new boxes from anything I bought. And it's my pop's fault because he always taught, told me to save a box. And mm -hmm. I just had for you. Like, you know, a couple years ago, I had to just throw away mad like boxes from lenses, boxes from cameras, stuff that's like, dude, it's five, six years old. Just throw it away. <laughs> all right, we're on uh, Croson. We got Sean's Unisex on my left hand side. We're approaching Chu Ave. No dumping, three hundred dollar fine. Oh, True Avenue, y'all. True Avenue. We got the Gospel Way Church of Christ written in heaven on my right. We got a child care center. We got pizza and steak. Yeah, little pizza and steak. What you like better, pizza or steak? Pizza. What kind of pizza? What's your favorite pizza out of all pizzas in the whole wild world? Good job, you put me on to. 
<laughs> he said that you know, I put him on. He's on my black blackberry. Yeah, two when, strings on. Yeah, look at that Joe. That Joe oh, too. Look at that. Look at that. That Joe saucy. Look, look at that Cadillac. He pimping. Yeah. Drop yeah. top caddy. On a pizza note, no, yeah, definitely that. What's your favorite topping though? The, the, the toy, the cheese stick don't defy it. Oh, all right, all right, all right. What's that on top? You talking about where I, yeah, where I take Blackbird, it? Blackbird. You talking about the cheese steak pizza? Cheese steak pizza, there you go. Oh, snap, the Philly cheese steak pizza. Yeah, that's my favorite, John. So it's like, I got the steak, and I still yeah, got, got the, the pizza. pizza. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, it makes sense. You did. Little Mini Cooper, remember you had that Red Mini Cooper before? Yeah, yeah, you know, I had one of those, you know what I'm saying? Red Mini Coop Coop. And John, some John's be out, we John's take flight. All right, we on Boyer and Hoarder Street. These houses are pretty nice over here too. The 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 facade changed up a little bit. Look at the little dogs. Yeah, Earth, Earth, man. Earth, Earth. Earth. Oh my bad. Oh, I ain't even I ain't even introduced Jersey girl. She was so quiet back here. I forgot that she back there. Don't forget about Jersey. Don't forget about Jersey. She's Jer definitely important. Jersey like a quiet child back there. Look at her. Oh, she yeah. she she just quietly well probably thinking. Uh, uh huh. Jersey, Jersey. What's your favorite slice of pizza, huh, girl? Uh -huh. Say no. <laughs> Yeah, but we got Jersey rolling with us too. For sure. She well behaved. I didn't even remember she was back there. Definitely, definitely. I'm a horrible parent. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we got Kentwall Hall on my left hand side. Ah, uh, we out here. All right. So it looks like we got some. There you go. Some like project apartments yeah, right there. Apartment complex yep. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now leasing. They now leasing. So if y'all y'all interested, come check it out. Yeah, on the 500 block of Porter. And they're renting over here too at um, Kent, sure. Kentwell Hall. All right, let's make this left hand turn right here on Phil Elena. Yeah, check out this double, double street. Little no, two way street. C and J exterminators. We got tall trees here. These trees gotta be old. Trees this tall, like 60, 70, 80 years old. I feel bad if something come one of these trees come down on these cars. Man. Yeah, he's gonna destroy it. Yeah, you gotta have full coverage because if not, you ain't getting paid. <laughs> you heard that? We got dog walkers. Another set of dogs. Ruff, ruff. I just told him to subscribe and dog talk. <laughs> uh, for sure, for sure. All right, we're at Boyer and Philly Lena. Look at my left hand side. Look at that little statue that they got in the middle. What is that? A deer or is that a dog? That's a deer. That's a deer, right? It looks like a deer. Where, where, the, where the horns go? <laughs> probably, 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 probably it probably broke them, right? Alright, we got two-story row home block. The houses on my right-hand side are raised above the street level. The ones on my left-hand side are a little bit lower. They have front lawns with a terrace. The first floors have some stonework, some brickwork. The second floors have vinyl siding. What's up? Ooh, something sound. Is that this right here in front of us? Oh uh, no, it's something in there. In the shop, yeah. Ooh, I'm about to say, damn, they stole his, his, his catalytic. <laughs> That's not funny. That sucks. That's happened to me before. They that Mustang. The Mustang across the street is nice. Your pop had one of them. I don't know if you remember. Your pop had a red one of those. Um, back back when y'all lived on Westmoreland in yeah, Kensington. Yeah, yeah. He had one of them. A red yeah, one. Yeah, he has a lot. I ain't gonna lie. He had a couple cars. Man, I, I drew one of them without him knowing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually got a chance to drive his Mustang before that yeah. that specific body. That thing was, was crazy. Yo, Super but the powerful. first time, listen, the first time he denied me, <laughs> he denied me to ride, just teach me how to ride his car. I'm telling you, I, I went out that same night and I, and I rode in the car. Just know <laughs> that. Stole I, that rode, I rode in the car. Just know that. YouTube, all y'all viewers, just know I rode the car that night. <laughs> He said, I'm going to learn how to drive one way or another. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good old days. All right. Check out these houses. Um, they're two-story, but the second floor is like in an angle. So, oh, those are regular. Those are flat top. Yeah, and yeah. there's a mixture of flat tops and the A-top. Flat tops, A-top. A, a but that's how we just passed that. So, there's a variation of houses in this neighborhood right here. Absolutely. Right? And you notice how when we was on the right side, we're on the east side of Germantown. When you go to the west side of Germantown, for example, let's cross back over to the west side. We're gonna make this left on Vernon Road, making a left on Boyer Street. We're gonna cross Germantown. The houses on that side seemed a little bit more fancy. Let's see what it looked like. Passing Slocum. 
Slow Cup. What a name, huh? <laughs> Let me just left right here. On oh, Pleasant. Boyer and Pleasant. Oh, check it out, check it out, check it out. They got first floor check garages. Out, yeah, yeah. Check out them garages under under the porch. Porch, yeah, they got a porch too. Under the porch. That's lit. Yeah. I, I guess you can say it's like a three story because the first floor yeah. is a garage, the second floor is yeah. a, a, a living space, the yeah. third floor is Absolutely. a living space. Absolutely. I'm from pretty sure they own it, they can make that bottom floor yeah. for a, little, a little bedroom or something. A little apartment studio. We got park over here on my left hand side. We're turning on Clearview Street. Uh, we got. All right, so this is one of those streets. We all know we run into them all the time. This is one of those streets where we got to share the same exact uh, pathway with them. I can either wait here for them or I can just bust a reverse, reverse. Crisscross. I'm gonna bust a reverse for them. Homeboy better slow it down because better traffic coming with us. Alright, so now we're back on clear view. So the second floor is raised. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen steps. There's a whole staircase that you gotta go up before you get to your porch. Bring it to moving up them jobs, man. Look, man. <laughs> bring a dolly. Bring a dolly. For real, because you got a lot of steps to go up. You did. Look at those stones in the house in front of us. Yeah, we're smarter, not harder. For real. Those stones are nice. Yeah, yeah. And then they got shingles on the front of the of of, of the of the third floor. We got a young woman with her child yeah, on my right hand she side. Works for the fire department. That's awesome, awesome. Nice observation there. Absolutely. All right, so we want to go that way. I don't know why I went this way, but it's cool. I'm gonna make an exception. I'm gonna go this way for another block, and then we're gonna go that way. Look at those houses. Those houses are tucked away on my right-hand side. Yeah. They're pushed back, yeah. and they got like the bushes in the front protecting them, blocking yeah. them. We got another mini coop coop. Um, these houses are a little bit more to the street side, but these are all two-way streets, so meaning you gotta share the same lane. That first block right there, that happens pretty much we just entered the block he had the right away but for example if we were towards the let's say the end of the block and somebody came in then we had the right away that's usually how it works in those blocks we got a hemi 392 on my left hand side charger big boy let's make this left hand turn that's what we call them big boy toys out here uh-huh they cut off the catalytic converter and they make them jump loud we're on gorgeous lane gorgeous lane on my left hand side, the houses have somewhat of like a Swiss influence. We had a young woman with her baby on a homemade swing right out front. Yeah. That's in clear view. She had like two ropes look on a tree. Oh, look at them. Yeah. That look, crib right there is pimping. Y'all look to the right, y'all. Look at this. These beautiful. These pimping, pimping. These are definitely pimping. How these are pimping my crib. <laughs> you know, these are nice. Pimp my crib. We're on Chew Ave, Gorgeous Lane and Chew Ave. Chew Ave. Flat Belly Veg. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. 5900. Yup, I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Chew. We got an abandoned house right here on my left hand side. Check that out. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it abandoned? Yeah, yeah. And we got a little, little, little separate department in the yeah. back of the garage. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at that one, that was pretty big. And it got the shutters, and the shutters are working. Finally, working shutters, refreshing. <laughs> We're on Chew Ave and Sedgwick Street. I'm gonna make this left on Sedgwick. You're making that left. We got a little prelude. I see that prelude for all the Honda enthusiasts. Yeah, those those uh, stripes that's done with the uh, what's, what's what's that called? The stripes that's done on the cement work in the front of the house. Um, the stucco, those stripes remind me of like Swiss homes. But then again, I won't be surprised if back in the day, Mount Erie in the early 1800s, 1900s, maybe late 1700s, we got a little public playground over here. Had Swiss or Germans living here. Yeah, you know what about this playground? There was a youngster that was shot here Word. about two or three, three months ago. Yeah. Look at that. Goes to show you, it, it's a beautiful neighborhood. But, but violence happens. But everywhere. violence happens everywhere. He just came out the rec center and they shot him. We got Love It Memorial Library on my left hand side. We're back on Germantown Ave. Remember I said we were gonna cross back over? Yeah, on that brick road. Yeah, let's let's cross back over and see what that side of Mount Airy looks like. 
remember we still got a whole nother little strip of my area over here we still got a whole nother area of my area over there but we're just gonna you know cross over and see what it looks like we got a little shopping plaza over to the right hand side yeah we got acme, right? acme you yeah. know what i'm saying you look right over there to the right oh uh, and there's a pharmacy yeah save on pharmacy yeah, exactly. We got a couple people on my left hand side, somebody walking the dog. We got some young girls with their younger siblings. We got Germantown Senior Community Center on my left hand side. You hear that leisure? Maybe you can look into, a, you know, an apartment over there. Leisure from New Mexico. <laughs> She's one of the viewers and supporters. Um, all right, we're at Mower and Sedgwick Street. I'm gonna make this right on Mower. We got a little dog over here. Like your dog, sir. Awesome dog, sir. Look at these stairs, bro. They're like 15 stairs. Oh, double flight. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Oh, and then you gotta go sideways. Step, yeah. step, step, oh, step, 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 and then sideways. But but look at this side. This side barely has right. steps. Right. And I like the purple, the orange, the green. I take the one with the ramp right there coming up. <laughs> he said the Joe with the ramp. The yes, handicap sir. accessible yes, ramp. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These houses got stucco on the front. And they got big yards. Yeah. And nice flowers on the sidewalk. Well, I'm taking care of, man. Well, I'm taking mm -hmm. care of. Yeah, pretty nice. Look at this house in front of us. They got a nice long driveway. We're next to the H bus stop that takes you to the Sheltonham Ogons Terminal. All right, let's make this left-hand turn on the 200 block of Mount Pleasant Ave. I'm just gonna wait for traffic to slow down, so. Well, I think we got one more car over here. On my right, I'm clear, so. Make this left hand turn. Looks like that's a BMW. That's a three series BMW under that uh, tarp. I already noticed it for all your BMW 3s. I'm not a big fan of BMWs, but you know, I share that with y'all for who all, all who care. <laughs> all right, so we're now approaching Cresheem Road. Cresheem Road. We got beautiful apartments on my left that are newly renovated. On my right hand side, the Miles Insurance Agency. I'm gonna make this left on Crescheen. People be in a rush. The gentleman getting out of the vehicle with a plaid shirt and his work bag, leather work bag. Yeah, his leather work bag. Look, like he just got out of work. Oh, it's about to be 6 p.m. Yeah, it's about to be 6 p.m., y'all. In case you know you guys want to support the movement, you can visit uh, Beyond the Sky Media. You know, check out the website for so sure. y'all can for order sure. some Tune 215 merch. We got the Tune 215 watches and we got the Tune 215 keychains. So definitely, show, definitely. show some love, you know. And if y'all new build, make sure y'all show some love and subscribe, man. Subscribe to my boy. Sedgwick and Cresheem Road. We're at Sedgwick and Cresheem. We got the Franklin Villa Apartments on my right hand side. One to two bedroom efficiencies available. We're passing Idell Street. I'm so curious. I want to go down Idell. <laughs> Idell definitely just caught my my attention because it's like off in the cut. We over there. We got nice flowers right here on the sidewalk. Orange oh, flowers, check them out. purple flowers, burgundy flowers. Oh, them Johns look like they're from another planet. Um, red flowers, big petals. Not 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 bad. Not bad for being you know in Philadelphia. Little stuff. garden front. Mm -hmm. nice. People could live here and go work in Center City, and they got probably a half an hour drive to get to work. That's it. All right, let's make this left-hand turn. I noticed some, what type of tags? Missouri, we got Missouri tags on my right-hand side. Yeah. They came from Missouri, y'all, it goes to show you. They got driveways too, oh, with back decks. Driveways with back decks. Duran Street, we're passing Duran. Greetings. <laughs> The dude was with his dog, he had white hair, he had glasses, and he just waved at me. So I'm like, greetings, sir. I greet anybody and everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> they said, don't say hi to strangers. People pull up. Who said? What if I'm the stranger? <laughs> Yo, we gotta make a left here. Is this a two-way? If, if, if not, yeah, yeah, oh, it look like it. Right, there's the cars are flipped. Yeah, because yeah, then it was gonna trap us. Yo, look at these houses. Look at the color. Look, look at the brick pointing. The brick pointing is white. Look it's at like that. Black Lives Matter. I know you seen that. I seen that in this right here again. Black Lives Matter. I seen that in several yeah, homes. Seen that. There's like little um, lawn placards, long built billboards that yeah. say Black Lives Matter. Right. Yeah, they got the white picket fence. With the cobble, cobble field on mm -hmm. the top. And then they got the shingles mm -hmm. with the little awning. Some of them don't though. These don't have the shingles. 
Some of them do though. That's weird how they have the same um, style of houses, but some got shingles, some don't. I guess it was probably an option when you bought the house back in the day. Some people chose not to get it. Maybe they got a double car driveway. That's what's up. I always like houses with garages or driveways. I really like that. Uh, we just exited the 200 block of Gorgeous Lane. We're now passing the 100 block of Gorgeous Lane. On my left hand side, we got Kashim Healing Arts. Yeah, they had a uh, they had a first floor porch and a top porch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, these houses look pretty neat. All right, all right, all right. There we're on Kashim uh, Road, and what is that, Carpenter? Yep. Yep, Carpenter Lane. See, that's when the panoramic uh, uh, rooftop comes in handy. I can just look straight up. <laughs> so can y'all. Just look up. Look up. These guys got big lawns, huge lawns. That's a lot of greenery. They got a nice flight of steps that takes them up to a, a nice size home. That's a nice size home. That's 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 like a little. These are like little mini mansions, almost. Definitely. The nice size homes, full size. A million dollar, half a million dollar. Mm -hmm. nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Easily a half a million dollars. Yeah. Look at their they're rehabbing that one. They got the blue tape around the windows. I guess they're working on the windows. It looks a little scruffy, so they probably gotta pimp it out. Yeah. We're on Pelham Road, Crenshim Road and Pelham Road. Yeah, you see, these, these houses over here are, are dope. Look at my right hand side. Look at them big, <laughs> I was gonna say, look at them big balls they got on their um, John. But look, 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 you see them? It's, it's like a stone. Yeah. That looks fancy, right? Yeah, that. And then they got nice steel um, a Mini Cooper. Whoa, we getting hit with all these Mini Coopers, yo. Yeah, and the, what's that, Land Rover? The, this looks like some European stuff. Range right? Range, what's that, Land Rover? Range, Range Rover. A Range Rover and, and, and a Cooper. And a Mini Cooper. That's all, that's all points. These people got to be from England. Yeah. Say, you know. <laughs> pip, pip, chittios. Good day, mate. <laughs> Look at this crib over here. This crib over here. Pip, oh, it's boarded up, though. Wow, it goes to show you. Now these are stuck together like normal homes, but this this is still big. Even though it's stuck together, same thing with this. It's still big. Look at the crown. I don't know if y'all can see the crown. I don't know if the camera does justice, but I'm gonna describe the crown for you. It looks like steps. It has like intricate um, trim work. It has nice floral design. It looks nice. Really nice. Let me just left hand turn. We just exited the 6700 block of Christian Road. We're on Westview Ave. Make this left on Westview Ave. All right, on my right hand side, we got some apartments with uh, private garage parking. Not bad. Seven foot six inch clearance. So if you're driving an eight foot vehicle, do not go under there. You don't want to do that. We're at Westview and Germantown Ave in the Mount Airy neighborhood. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. 6700 block of Germantown Avenue. Say it with me. Avenue. <laughs> Free library um, library box. We got a couple people over here recreating on Pelham. Sitting down, chatting. We're passing Slocum. Slocum Street. Now we're passing Santander Bank. Who do you bank with? Passing Pleasant Street. Pleasant Street and Germantown Ave. We got Dolly's Boutique on my right hand side. We got Enterprise. We just passed. Uh huh. Make this right hand turn on me hand. Ouch, ouch. We got a beauty supply spot on my left hand side. We got a yellow Celica, a bright banana yellow Celica. We got an inspection spot, Kendall Motor Oil Inspections. Black Lives Matter again. So we got a lot of. Uh, homes that are <clears throat> brandishing that phrase pack rat this is one of those storage boxes when you want to move or you want to store a bunch of stuff you basically put it in the box and they'll move the box for you we had three cats sitting on the um lawn hello doing? yo telling me yo i think this vehicle brings people it's Joy, big. yeah, it's, it's like they're like, Hello, hi, we yeah. see two big guys with tattoos inside this microscopic matchbox car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I swear, I haven't had no that many people in my life, and all my vehicles say hello to me. Right. Like, yo, right. what's up, yo? Right. they waiting for 20 essays to come out. They draw like a clown car. <laughs> yo, 
Wow, there was a bumper sticker right there that said something interesting. It said, respect costs nothing to you. I agree, respect costs nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's, that's big. Big facts. Yeah. Got an old school Benz, 90s Benz, 2000s Benz on my right. Got a nice mural on my right hand side. Opportunity makes the difference. That's powerful. Opportunity makes the difference. Meaning if you provide, let's say, inner city youth with an opportunity to grow, to, to feed their mind, then they can grow into something magnificent. We're back on Chew. Meehan Ave and Chew Ave. Let's make this right. Down Meehan. Mm-hmm. When I say Meehan, it reminds me of Meehaw. Meehaw. I don't know why. <laughs> U4 Med Clearly. J. Or U4 MDJ or MDJ? That, that was a crazy tag. And these houses on my left. These houses on my left, the second floor got four windows. Four windows wide. Check it out. Big yard. We got a lot of trees, a lot of greenery in this neighborhood. Yeah, man. Like a whole bunch of greenery, y'all. This neighborhood definitely has a whole bunch of Mini Coopers, too. <laughs> Yo, they went crazy. Right, let's make this left hand turn on Boyer. On the 6900 block of Boyer. Alright, we're gonna go past Gorgas because we already went through Gorgas. So we're gonna go to the next block and see what it looks like. We're on Gorgas and Boyer Street. This little box on my right hand side, I don't know if y'all can see, but turn the camera right. You guys will see a little free library box where the neighborhood um, provides books and exchanges books. It's kind of like a book exchange. I'm sure the library starts with the initial amount of books, but then you can just rent it. They don't, they don't make you take a card or nothing. It's a, based on the good faith system. You take a book, you bring it back. They don't know people could steal them, but I guess they figure in this neighborhood nobody's going to steal books. They got a little um, mini RV, a little trailer. That's that's the joint I was talking about, bro. Yeah. Something small like 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 that, you know, yeah, like a yeah. little you ten footer. Little, you see a little box fan on the window. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah. little box fan and all. Yeah, yeah you you can live in some. I can live in something like that. Listen, don't 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 play too long. Pop up with a little tiny matchbox crib now. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, y'all already know I got the RV. But for sure. yeah, you know, like I ain't got no shame in my game. Listen, listen, long as I I got a place to rest my head yeah. and food in my tummy. Right. That's it. Come next. That's all that matters, man. All right, we're gonna make this left hand turn on Sedgwick. Sedgwick is one heck of a name to pronounce. Sedgwick. Sedgwick. Sound crazy, right? Sedgwick. <laughs> we got a lot of nice flowers and floral decoration on the left hand side. You you could tell when a homeowner loves their home. Florida tax. You could tell when a homeowner loves their home. Let's make this right on clear view. Because they invest in flowers. Flowers aren't cheap either. Flowers cost red. We got an awesome dog over here. In New York. Yeah. Of course. Beautiful dog, man. <laughs> she ain't want to say nothing. Why she ain't want to say thank you? <laughs> she probably thought that we was plotting. See, some people could take us as like, like hoodlums. Yeah. What type of hoodlums you know ride around in a smart car though? Yeah. <laughs> the ones from fairy tales. Oh, they got a Benz right there, chilling like villains. You know what I mean? With the Benzo. The Benzo behind the little private gate and the little driveway. Another Benzo right here, a C300. Boom, second gear. Too fast. Too furious. Say it, huh? And we're back on Chu Ave. We keep on going straight with Germantown. I'm going to make this right hand turn on Chu Ave and see what else we see over here. Because the houses over here seem to be quite interesting. See if we run into any more magic. All right. Durham Street. I'm going to make this right hand turn on Durham Street. See what we find. All right, so we got some more traditional row homes here, but they're like in a duplex format. There's like two of them stuck together, and then there's a yard space, two of them stuck together, and then another space. But Mount Erie is Three next stories. to is is next to Germantown, so it's like a historical env environment. Like there's a lot of history that's in this neighborhood. Even though I'm not speaking about a lot of history during this tour, you guys can research it. There's a lot of history that lies in the Mount Erie and Germantown neighborhood. Like one of our presidents lived in Germantown. 
which isn't far from here, a few minutes away. Um, I, I always forget, is it George Washington? I believe George Washington. The dude that's on the $1 bill, who's on the $1 bill? I'm shy, I ain't got a $1 bill on me. But that dude, I believe, lived in this neighborhood, in the Germantown neighborhood. I might have a $1 bill, let me see. In my bag right here. Let's see, I got a $1 bill here. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Who is this dude right here? I should know my presidents. George Washington, right? Is George Washington? Yeah, you said I think, it right. I think this is George Washington. I think. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully not somebody else. Anyway, Chun, you you flunk history, but um, he lived in the. See, if 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 it's not him, then showing you this dollar is pointless. But I believe it was him that he lived in the Germantown neighborhood, which is in Philadelphia. Because you got to remember. The United States of Independence and a lot of that stuff started here in Philly back in the day. Remember the Declaration of Independence, all that, 1776, the Liberty Bell, all that, that stuff. Started here. It was all in Philly. That's why I don't, I don't understand. I mean, there's probably some real reasoning why the, Del the state of Delaware is called the first state. We should be the first state because all the stuff happened here. You know what I mean? But. I'm sure there's some more reasoning behind it. That's why, like, it don't make sense to me. Like, why Delaware, like, they get away with tax. They don't pay, like, heavy tax and all that. Like, what? Like, what you talking about? That should be here. We shouldn't have to be paying taxes and all that stuff. We should, we should get it for the law. Yeah, right? But it, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? We got a lot of trees. The trees make the neighborhood look nice. They got the sour We got grass, and they got a pathway. In North Philly, we don't got that. We don't got grass on the sidewalk. We just got cement cracks busted up sidewalks town watch boyer street town watch there was there was a town watch john right there that basically lets you know that look at another um library but yo you don't return one yo we just saw somebody actually using the returner box he had two books under his arm and he's probably gonna go trade up yeah let me show you people still like to read in 2020 21 you know another library box dream how many of y'all like to read? How many of the viewers are readers? I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge reader. I don't read books that I don't enjoy. What I do read is the internet. So I like go up, I look up an article, or if, if, if I buy something, I'm gonna learn about that something. I'll read about the something that I'm interested in. But I don't go like regularly and rent out books. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't like to read. Yeah. I don't, I don't go like common, common. Grab a book, man. Yeah. But if I'm interested in something that I'm trying to do, there you go. I'm gonna read on it. Yeah, the subject of it, but I don't just like, hey, I think I want to read a book today. <laughs> There's some people that they got full libraries and they read on a regular basis. Right. Check out this lady with the two dogs. Let's cross over Germantown Ave. There's a whole bunch of dog walkers. Oh, we got a Rose Voice over here on my left hand side, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it. Scoop. Uh huh. Yeah, check that a Rose out. Rose Voice, y'all. Right at the light, y'all. Right the, the big light. old phantom. Ah, dentist smile spot. Yeah, oh snap. Check your mouth. I gotta go check your mouth. Mm -hmm. Wow, a lot of greenery. A lot of these houses, the whole fronts are covered up with grass. You can barely see the front of the house. I mean, I guess that's good. It gives you privacy. You know what I mean? You got a young woman right here with a Drexel shirt. She has her child with her. Awesome dog, man. She got a little pug. Punch buggy, no punch bag. Y'all got a sock over next to you. Oh, oh little hoop. Little spinner. Yeah, let's go around this little cul-de-sac thingy majiggy. This roundabout. You got a little cook for you to what the houses look like. You see this little neighborhood right here? Look at that. If you lived here, this is your little block. Look, they got a bench right here across the street. Yeah. Yeah, like if I lived here, I would be chilling right there. Word. Look at that basketball court. I'm talking got the grill. Uh -huh. the hot dogs. I'm talking <laughs> everything. It's pop. Those are music, Bluetooth speaker. That's it. Neighbors gonna probably make them they make hate them. They gonna make some complaints. <laughs> they were like, yo, we gonna, we gonna be the new, new, new people around the neighborhood. Uh -huh. Turning it up, hey. We're gonna go in and clean up after your dog, 300 out of fine. And in this neighborhood, they actually listen to those signs. This reminds me of a Puerto Rico house because in the hood, there'd be 300 out of fines. Don't, no dumping, 300 out of fines. Boom, right next to the sign, you see tons of dumping and trash. So yeah, let's make this left on the 7300 block of Bryan Street. Bry, B-R-Y-A-N, Bryan. One way begins here, so this isn't a two-way street. We got two women right here in the street, socializing. She got a little spring dress, it ain't spring yet. They look like 
older hipsters. Walking their king. Yeah, 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 yeah. Passing this little uh, Prius. One of the most popular cars to have a, a catalytic converter stole. The catalytic converter theft. The reason why people steal catalytic converters is because of the, we're on Bryan and Islands Lane, because of the precious metals that's in catalytic converters. There's something called platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Those three metals right now are selling for more than gold. An ounce of of, of those of, of those materials are twenty eight thousand dollars an ounce. That's ridiculous. That. So that's why people are stealing. But it sucks because people like me or anybody else who get catalytic converters stolen, no outlet here. Rural lane. I'm gonna go here even though it says no outlet. I just want to see what a no outlet block looks like. But that goes to show you that even though. Wow, look at this. You got somebody on my left hand side doing the little garden and little yeah. That's a nice crib. That's a nice crib. Even though it's the hardest time within the last two or three years with the pandemic and everything to make money, prices of those materials went up because they're, they're not manufacturing them and they're not shipping them over. So, you know, it, they were pricey back in the day. Those materials are in your catalytic converter. That's the piece of the muffler that silences your car and helps your car pass emissions when you go through inspection. This is why it's a no outlet because, you know what I mean? But anyway, those are the materials that help you pass inspection. Now, if they cut that off of your vehicle, your vehicle sounds super duper loud, like rah, rah, sounds loud. In order to replace one of them, it costs anywhere from 300 to six, 700 dollars or more if, if 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 you got like 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 a big old truck or you got like a huge catalytic converter it may be a thousand two three thousand dollars to fix your catalytic converter now with the people who steal them all they getting is anywhere from like a hundred two hundred three hundred per converter it depends on the size of the converter but they chop them and they chop them in two minutes or less they go under the car i lately i've been watching um a few segments where people get crushed and i know that's instant karma and they stealing a catalytic converter and then a Prius drops right on them and crushes them and kills them. I've seen a couple YouTube videos like that. They recommend them to me and I'm like, oh, man, click, click here. <laughs> Let's see what, what this is about. And then you read the comments, the people are enjoy. Like, yes, that's, that's, that's what they get. These thieves, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I can sympathize with them because I understand it, it costs a whole lot. Massachusetts tags, it costs a whole lot. We're next to the Island Lane Station at Island Lane and Christine Road. Let's cross over. But yeah, it, it, it definitely does does suck, you know. Um, you know, I don't I don't condone stealing. I don't condone catalytic converter theft. I I think it's whack. I think it's corny. It's a cheap way to make a dollar. Let's make this left on Charlton. But nevertheless, they make making bank. That's that's why. If you ever wanted to know why did they do it to them, that's why. Because if you steal 15, 20 catalytic converters in one night. The next day you probably make five six seven bands in one night and that depends on sizes you know what i mean that, that. passing nipping that would blow somebody's mind yeah imagine five bands a night times seven days a week you make thirty five thousand dollars by at the end of the week but it's dirty money you know it all it, it all has to do with like what are your morals you know what i mean like are you okay with doing that or you know i'm i'm i pass because karma comes back ten tenfold so when you make money the hard way, the legal way, they're gonna take it. Gonna, the universe gonna take it right back from you. All right, we're on Lincoln Drive. Oh snap! You hear that, Lincoln? I got a viewer called Lincoln. He's a big supporter of the channel. His name is Lincoln. We're on Mount Erie Ave and Lincoln. Yo, you got a street over here named after you, dog. <laughs> All right, let's make this left-hand turn on Lincoln Drive. Let's see what Lincoln Drive looks like. All right. It's a actual two lane street. It's not just a one lane street where you gotta share them. Yeah. Wesley Road, let's turn on the right on the 300 block of Wesley Road. I like the balcony on the second floor there. They got a nice, can you go there? No, you can't go to the balcony. So why is there a balcony there? Like, seriously? I like the idea of there being a balcony, but you can't actually utilize it. You got a little basketball court, double car driveway. Look at the styles of the house, though. like all the little wood trims. They painted that a nice green. That's a nice green. They got the brick, they got the stones. This is a nice block. This is a dope block. It's quiet. 
They got the hammock out front so you can just lay down. That's tough. I'm a big fan of details, like those little details and the original rustic look, the original historic look. I like when they retain the original wood, the original stone, they clean it up, pressure wash it, brick point it. I like that. We just exited the 300 block of Wellesley Road. It ain't even Wesley. It's Wellesley. Wow. You see it? Yeah. Well, Wellesley Road. Wellesley. Wellesley. That's crazy. All right. Let's go to the 400 block of Wellesley. Speed limit 25 miles per hour. We're traveling about 12 miles per hour right now. I'm on second gear. Another library box. There's a lot of library boxes in this hood too. I guess there's a lot of readers. <laughs> in the hood, there ain't no library boxes on every corner. There's bars and beer distributors <laughs> on every corner. Poppy stores on every corner. Drug dealers on every corner. Michigan tags. Wow, we just passed some Michigan tags. All right, we're gonna make this left-hand turn. There's a gentleman on my left with a basketball and there's another youngster with a number 25 um, jersey. Another, um, wow, people just sitting out here randomly. Like she's staring at her flowers, passing 400 block of door hand. She's on the phone. I thought she was like in the great thinking thought mode, but she was on the phone. Got a nice flowers. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is another um, library box. Whoa, like that's mind blowing. Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yo. So, this neighborhood, for the most part, at face value, it seems like a pretty friendly neighborhood. Like I said, it does have a uh, uh, percentage of violence that does happen I think it's more on like the hood side we didn't do all of the hood side today nor did we do all of the night side today we did a very small portion of Mount Airy today but I just wanted to show you guys something that was a little bit different than the hood it's always good to get a refreshing look at it Absolutely. y'all got a chance to meet the homie hood stunts you guys could visit his YouTube channel visit hood stunt 92 give him a subscribe check him out check him out check him out Y'all know that's family. Um, but with that being said, I think we're gonna conclude today's little short tour. Oh, we got a little RV on the left-hand side, a trailer, yeah, Shamrock, yeah, Shamrock. Uh-huh, a little, little fifth-wheel fifth, fifth joint. Yeah, that's kinda lit. All right, but yeah, so with that being said, y'all, we're gonna end the tour here. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, show some love, comment, share any knowledge, share any stories, share any memories you have of this neighborhood. Talk in the comment section amongst each other, engage so that viewers across the world wide web can read your comment and you know you guys can talk amongst each other with that being said it's your homeboy tune mr tune 215 hood tune stir hood stunts tune ski tunism bad tune tuner tune one tuny cali fragilistic expialidocious and guess what i'm tuning out